different than Aspen Plus in Aspen High Seas, it's not possible to simulate a multi-stage compressor with just one block. So in this case, as many stages of compression you have in your compressor, you need to add the block for the compressor in your process simulation in Aspen High Seas. So in this case, if we have a one stage compressor, just one block is needed. When we need a two stage compressor, we need to add another block for a three stage of compression, another block and so on, until you get all the stages of compression that you need. The main issue here is that every time you compress the fluid in a high pressure ratio, the temperature increases, so to not damage the suction of the next stage of compression, most often we add a kind, some kind of cooling. It can be a air cooler, it can be a shell and tube heat exchanger, but for the simulation of the compressor, multi-stage compressor, at the first site, the, for preliminary calculations, instead of adding heat exchangers, like sharing tube or air cooler, you can just add a cooler. A cooler will do the calculation for the heat dirty needed to do the cooling of the medium. Another thing to consider is that when you are doing the cooling of the compressed gas, eventually you can have the formation of condensate. If that is the case, you need to add also a separator to guarantee that to the next stage of compression, you will not have condensate. If Aspen High Seas verify that there are condensate at the suction of the compressor, a warning will be added or will be informed to you. So the basic set to do the simulation of a multi-stage compre compressor in Aspen High Seas is material streams, you need to inform the inlet material streams and also the outlet material streams and also the energy of the compressor. Besides that, you need to inform all the adiabatic efficiency for the polymer polytropic efficiency. As a standard, the Aspen High 75% of adiabatic efficiency. It's possible to define which kind of compressor is being considered, centrifugal, reciprocating, wet gas, or screw, and you need to inform the discharge conditions in terms of delta P, pressure ratio, or just the discharge pressure. Taking into consideration the gas composition and conditions uh, related to the VJ's article, we have a 2 bar A inlet stream with 30 million standard cubic feet per day and 30 Celsius degree at the inlet conditions of the compressor. And the discharge conditions for the system is 15 bar A. If we just add the 15 bar A at the start of the stream or in the stream 1 that represents the charge condition, we verify that the temperature of the fluid will be around 170 Celsius degree. That is above of the discharge temperature recommended in most of the cases. So to avoid this kind of situation, what we need to do is to split the ratio of compression in multiple segments. So based on that, that's why we need for this case, for instance, two stages of compression. So to do that, you just need to add the connections for the next stage and define the correct pressure ratio for each stage of compression. If condensate are not formed based on the process conditions, it can be removed from your process simulation. You don't, don't need to add that if based on the Process conditions, you will not have condensate in your process. So with this, to represent the two-stage compression 
described in the article, the process simulation will will seem like this one. And just to clarify, the after cooler is needed depending on what will happen in the with the stream that you are working on. In this case, you can see that the discharge of the second stage of compression is 123 Celsius degree. If for any reason you need a hot stream downstream of the discharge of the compressor, you will not add a after cooler. But most often the process needs to comply with the design temperature and because of that, for this purpose, it was added a after cooler. The Heat exchangers between stages of compressors are known as intercooler and the heat exchanger at the discharge of the last stage of compressor is known as aftercooler. So before the optimization, when you build your multi-stage compressor in your process simulation, the results must look like this one. We have 30 million standard cubic feet per day entering your compressor at 2 bar A and 30 Celsius degree. The efficiency, polytrophic efficiency in this case is 82%. You will add the equal pressure ratio and you will define the 5.48 bar A as discharge pressure that will lead to a discharge temperature of 94.5 Celsius degree. You need to add 0.1 pressure drop in air cooler and based on that you will have another suction pressure to your compressor and you need to add the pressure ratio to reach the 15 bar A. And you have another pressure drop here in the air cooler so at the discharge block valve you will have in fact 14.9 bar A. That will lead, in terms of calculations, to a total power of 3,000 kilowatts and a total cooler duty of 2,786 kilowatts. If you are able to perform the pressure rate calculation and add to each stage of your compressor, most often your job is done. 